Well, hey there, everybody. How y'all doing? Thank you for coming back as always. I appreciate it. Really hope you're having a wonderful day or night. And welcome back to my channel. As always, I'm Deluxe. All right, let's do another Transformer review. Yeah. Today I'll be taking a look at Iron Factory's IFEX-45 Yuri Shishimura. Hope I said that right. Probably jacked it up like I always do with names. Uh, but this is their Iron Samurai, uh, Iron Samurai series. Uh, this is their Lyo Convoy. And uh, so I think Bludgeon is also part of this uh, little thing they got coming out as well. Uh, if you've seen pictures of them, they should be coming out soon and everything. But yeah, beautiful box. I love just the, the lion head right there. Really nicely done. Beautiful box. And you got the side right there and there. And then you got the basic, you know, Iron Factory. Got some poses and everything. But very nice, like beautiful, beautiful box. Usually they got like a little clear thing where you can see inside, but it doesn't have that for that. So I'm sure Bludgeon's gonna come with a beautiful box as well. But awesome sauce on let's just get to the review. Why not? Yeah. All right, there is Lyo Convoy from Iron Factory in his uh, lion mode, his alt mode. But let's take a quick look at what he comes with. Instructions, as always, pretty nicely done. It comes with a nice sword and a nice sheath. Hope I said that right. Nice gold paint over there. I love that. It's very nicely done. Got some gold accents right there. And then pull that out. Gold paint right there. Nicely done. Silver as well. Really done, done well. You got that. He comes with um, three sets of you know different hands. So he comes with um, kind of open grip hands, kind of jazz hands, kind of going thing like that. Gold paint right there for the paws or the toes. So you got that set right there. You got a set of kind of an open hand, you know, to hold the sword a little better. And then you got another set of open hands, but they're closed, kind of fist, but they got holes in there. So you get that, you get a nice set, and then you got closed fist in there. Um, I would use the closed fist for, um, you know, transformation, because uh, when you transform these, they'd be sticking out like that. So the closed fist ones are the one, only the ones really that will work with it. So use that and everything so yeah that's it that's all he comes with all right let's take a look at this fella and it is beautiful really really well done tons of gold paint love that cherry red come on now i got some gold or right, silver gun metal right there beautiful nice little pink eyes right there and you got this little head crest it's like the matrix you got that little blue gem and you got a gun metal paint right here gold accents right here on the side Tons of gold paint right here. Really nicely done. Some paint right here. Some gold right there. You got some, um, eh, let's see, gold for the toes. You got a little red paint right there. Red paint right there. That looks like a little chicken. Ch -ch chicken, chicken. You got dark red paint right there. Some no nice gold accent. Gold paint for the tail. So, it, <sighs> beautiful. I mean, it's painted really, really well. So let's do some articulation because it's really got some good articulation with it. So this, so you can move this. Let's do it on a double hinge and everything. So move this out of the way. Whoops. And then you can move these as well as little, his little mane. And so you can do up quite a bit, down. You can go side to side. It's on a ball joint. His uh, mouth does open and his little chin thing does move as well. It's got a little hinge right there. So, nice little gold paint. And he has got a gold tongue in there. That is sweet. Come on now. So, really nicely done for the head movement. You move these out of the way a little bit. They do move with their own ball joints. So you can move them. Now, with the paw or the legs or anything, you can move them around, up and down. It does have a double jointed right here and everything. So, you can enough movement right there. Swivel for the hands. And then you got the paw can move up and down as well. So, and then you can move back and forth as well. So, tons of articulation. Really nicely done. Now, you can put the, I, I mean, I'm not going to do this. I don't really like the way it looks like there. But you can put the sword right here. Just put them in that little hole. That's his little hip skirts. Uh, so, you do have that option if you want to, you know, put the sword right there. Moving back. All right. Now, the tail, it's on a ball joint. So, you can move up and down. You can twist it also. You can move it around like that. That's pretty cool. So that's uh, for the tail movement. All right, the back legs. So the back legs are like the back legs are tabbed in. So there's one untabbed area. So you got it tabbed in there. And the instructions you're supposed to have them tabbed in together, and they don't have a lot of movement. 
at all. I mean, the, you basically had just this movement right here, and then you got the movement of your foot and your toe. And that's it. So if you want to, I mean, you have the option you can untab it, and then oh, it does fold up. But you can, and you'll have a bigger range of movement, so you can move up and down like that. You do have a twist right there. So just your choice, I mean, you know, if you go by the instructions, they are supposed to tab in, and there's not a lot of movement in the back. But if you do that, so you do have this as well, and you got movement so where it's on a, you know, ball joint. So you got tons, tons and tons of articulation. You can get them some great, great poses in there. So, so yeah, that is the articulation and the sculpt work of the alt mode for Leo Convoy. And put them like that. So I'll put them, I'll clean them up a little bit and then we'll do some other stuff. There you go. All right, real quick, there's a Hasbro Legend Iron Factory. Magic Square. And New Age. So kind of on a scale of everything, but there you go, scale. Crapagonic, some pepper spray, and crappy toilet paper, scale. All right, it's time to transform them. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this. So what you wanna do, you want, like I say, you wanna untab. It's already been untab. You untab that. You're gonna move that up there. You're gonna straighten these out. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna move these down. Flip up the uh, heel spur like that. And then move the foot down like that. Do the same thing with this one. Move it down like that. Yeah. Flip out the heel spur, move the foot down, and then you almost got the foot down, or the legs down. So what you want to do is, you want to move these out of the way, you're going to flip these out of the way, and you're going to take the line head, and you're going to, well first take this little part right here, and like I said, and the double hinge right there, and then you're going to take the chest and open up a little bit move these up towards that way because they were down like that and then just move that right there and then manipulate this right here I'll close it the mouth so you can manipulate right there turn the feet uh, hand around and there that like that and then do the same thing turn that hand around flip that back right there you can Twist the head around, and then what you're gonna do is you wanna take this part right here, and then you wanna swivel it around like this, and then collapse it right there. And you wanna move these things right here, move it up, you have to move that out of the way, and then collapse them down like that. Well, let's do this first, my fault. You wanna Twist the legs around like that, and then like that, and then turn the feet around. <laughs> they still look like chickens. Um, and then move the skirts down like that, and then you can kind of manipulate that back over around like there. And this, there's a double hinge, or just a hinge right there, and then you can move this out of the way like that. So that is basically how you transform them. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. There you go. Transformation. All right. So the, this weapon, like I said, you move this out of the way. There's a little hole right there. Take there. There's a little nub right there. And then you can just try to hit the sweet spot. There you go. And... Hold this work. Now it goes on both sides if you want to. You have two holes, so whichever side you want, that is okay. So that is him and his weapon. There you go. All right, moving on. We'll take this off real quick. That off. Now how do you pop off, the, you know, to change hands? They are on a little ball joint. You just pop them off, and then you add on whichever one you want to put on. Pop it in the hole. 
There you go. Yeah, I put the wrong one on. <laughs> so you get the gist. There, just put that on right there. And I'll uh, put this one back on. And there you go. So that's how you change out the hands if you want to. You do have a couple sets to uh, mess around with. All right, let's take a look at the sculpt work and the articulation. And it is beautiful. Beautiful head sculpt. I love that. Beautiful yellow eyes, painted silver, blue. Got the silver or gunmetal head crest. Silver ears. It's a beautiful, oh my gosh, so beautiful. Oh, this cherry red, it's just, mm, mm, mm. So you can look down quite a bit, look up quite a bit, side to side, and give you a little attitude as well. Really cool. So nice movement. Um, there's a little nudge back here. It might get in your way a little bit, so just be careful you don't want to scrape that. So once again, beautiful head sculpt and nice movement for the head. All right, these things, like I said, they're on a ball joint and a hinge or whatever, swivel, something like that. So you can move this out of the way. This is a hinge right there too. Nice gold paint right there. And you can move this around. If you don't want to see the tail, you can hide it a little bit if you want to. And you can twist around and move it in like that. So if you want to hide it, that's up to you. So that's uh, that little piece right there. On the other side, you got the head. It does open. Uh, like I said, same thing. You can move it around, twist it, open these up if you want to. Move that so just basically like a, you know on the line head. Okay, arms. You can move this out of the way if you want to. It does you know go around? You can manipulate around that little thing. Bicep swivel, double el double elbow right there. Really nice. I like that. Uh, swivel the hand, and that's about. And this moves right here. The paw moves up and down as well. And same goes for the other arm. Do the same thing. Like I said, these things are on a ball joint, so you can move them around. You can go up and down like that all around do the hokey pokey uh waist swivel little ab crunch you know just enough i think for him like i said beautiful beautiful chest i love that cherry red right there and you got the gun metal and you got some nice paint right there too you got the gold you got the strong right there come on now gold paint right there uh he can do the van dam kick up a little bit that look gets in the way a little bit right there kick back thigh swivel these do move as well, these little knee pads. They do move up, move up and down as well. Very nice done. He does have a double jointed uh, knee. Well, that's not really nice. Got some nice gold accents right there. You already saw that in the line mode, but just to show it off again because it is a beautiful piece. Nice dark red right there. And then you got some toes. You can go um, up, tilt, tilt down, up and down. And he also had this movement too because of the transformation. So you can get some extra dynamic poses. And he does have a swivel. And he does have a nice rocker. So tons and tons of articulation. Then the back looks pretty clean. A little waffle right there, but not too bad. But yeah, you can situate everything. So yeah, very, very, very beautiful. So that is the articulation and the sculpt work of Leo or Lyle Convoy from Iron Factory. There he is next to one of the cars from Iron Factory G2 uh, Sideswipe, and that's the uh, Beast Wars Megatron for uh, Iron Factory, and this is scale. Crapagonics, some pepper spray, and crappy toilet paper, and you got squeaks for scale. Doll. So let's talk about some Iron Factory Leo, or Leo Convoy, however you want to say it. God damn! Iron Factory, you know how to make a freaking Legends Transformer. My God, this is going to be in my top 10 at least. It has a running to be, uh, you know, my favorite legend of the year, but definitely top 10. Love it. Love it. The alt mode is fun. The transformation is really easy. Shouldn't take you that long to figure it out, but it's, it's a really fun transformation. So you'll, you'll, you'll enjoy it. Everything about this is just beautiful. The paint, tons of paint, gold, that cherry red I love. You got some gun metal. Man, you got some pink eyes. My God, painted from head to toe, really nice job. I love the head crest is blue and gunmetal. I love it. Articulation out of the butt. Oh my God, I mean it can get in so many poses. I had such a great time taking pictures of this thing, man. You can put him in so many great, wonderful, wonderful poses. Articulation top notch. Only thing I might sick to say that's a little, you know, 
Uh, a downside is, you know, the shoulder, you know, on both sides, you got the lion head and you got the tail and everything. You have to move them, you know, maneuver them out of the way and everything, but they move really easily. They're on, you know, hinges and, you know, ball joints and everything. So they're really easy to move out. So that's probably only the negative thing I can say about this thing. The sculpt work is beautiful. I love the head sculpt. Everything about this, the materials feel really good. Once again, Iron Factory, I mean, they're like the famous toys of uh, Legends. They're just that good. Really nice. I can't wait for Bludgeon. I'm really liking this uh, Samurai series that they're doing. If they're going to be like this, oh my goodness. Man, well worth the money to get this thing. It is a fun transformer. I definitely highly recommend this guy. And I highly recommend get on the floor and do some floor time. Once you join me and be my neighbor. All right, all right, all right. Man, I'm Factory. I know you're watching. If you are, man, if you ever need anybody, anybody need to test your products or anything like that, or you know, get some early copies of stuff, please, please look me up, man. Cause, man, I love every time Iron Factory comes out with something. I, I just enjoy it. It just, it's fun. It, it's, mwah, it's, it's good. It's so good. So, I don't know, man. Golly, what do y'all guys think? Look at this. Look at this little fella, man. So much articulation, paint, just... Come on, now. Yeah, it looks really good. Yeah, I'm liking it, too. Yeah, I like it, too. Dirtfire approves. What about you, Tripticon? Ra 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 ra. Yeah. What about you, baby? Oh, let's just kick it. Oh, kick the baby. I like it. I even like being kicked by him. It's awesome. All right. Well, that was my review over the Iron Factory Leo, Leo Convoy. Leo, whatever you want to call him. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Hit me up some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Go ahead and hit that sub button for me if you don't mind. Uh, hit me up some comments. Tell me what you thought of the review. And uh, if anybody's going to get this guy, if you're a Legends collector, I definitely highly recommend this guy. So I guess I'll see you in the next. Uh, man, Iron Factory needs to put out some more stuff. And as always, be good to yourself. Hail Hasbro. And good night, folks. Man, look at that cherry red. Woo, so sexy. I'm sexy and I know it. Dun, 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 dun.